Welcome to today's video. In this video, I'll show you how to retrieve the available pipelines from the RTM report. The available pipeline allows you to extract report data from an existing report table and reform using SQL language. This includes action like sorting column or grouping as a new pipeline tailored to your specific needs. In today's tutorial, we'll teach you on sorting invoice reports by delivery date and item code, such as arranging invoices from the earliest to the latest. By default, reports display data in the order they were entered. This tutorial will show you how to customize the sorting to fit your needs. Let's get started. Step 1. Declaration Variables To continue with our main topic of sorting by delivery date and item code, click on the calculation icon, then select Declarations. Here, you'll need to create a name for your variable. We recommend following a sequential naming convention, such as SQL underscore 5 in this case, to make it easier to differentiate. Once that's done, right-click and select Compile to check for errors and ensure accuracy. Step 2. Procedure Global Uncreate Click on Event. Here, you'll need to input the SQL query for SQL5 from Document Detail and sort by delivery date and item code. Then start by key SQL underscore 5 colon equals select, asterisk. The asterisk captures all fields from the document underscore detail table. If you prefer to capture specific fields, you can replace the asterisk with fields such as docky, delivery date, item code, etc. Continue by typing, from document detail, ensuring it is enclosed in straight quotes, add a plus symbol and open another set of straight quotes to specify the sorting criteria using order by docky delivery date, item code to sort by docky delivery date and item code. Close the straight quotes and finish the statement with a semicolon. Finally, right-click and select Compile. Next we will move on to Step 3 Procedure Report before print. Step 3.1 Local SQL Select. Click on Event Handlers and select Procedure Report before print. In some cases, the RTM report might not display the report before print option in Event Handlers. If this happens, simply right-click, select Events, and then click on Report to locate the before print option. After that, click on Language and select Utility. Drag the local SQL underscore select function into the calculation area, and you'll see parameters that need to be filled in accordingly. For the parameter ADB pipeline, this represents the data pipeline where the query result will be stored. In this example, you need to input PLSQL underscore 5, which you renamed earlier. Note that PL is required as part of SQL's naming convention, followed by SQL underscore 5 you declared earlier. Finally, the parameter A sort by specifies the sorting field, which in this case is docky delivery date and item code. Remember to input docky first, then only enter the sorting fields as delivery date, item code, enclosed in straight quotes. Once everything is entered correctly, you can proceed to the next steps to complete the configuration. Step 3.2, set data pipeline field link. Example of a data pipeline field link is not required. The set data pipeline field link is used to link to other data pipeline. However, for reports like Sales Invoice 3, Sales Discount, where the main data pipeline, PLSQL0, is already used as the primary data, linking to other data pipeline is unnecessary. Now, we will show you an example of how to set data pipeline link. Since Detail Pipeline is a new field we are creating, it needs to be properly linked to the main data pipeline. To establish this connection, we will use Docky as the linking key. The docky ensures that the data in the main tab is correctly matched with the data in the document details. When the docky values in both the main data and the document details are the same, it confirms that the two sections are successfully linked and can be used together for further processing. Preview the report, and you'll see that the docky values matches 68. Next, we will move on to set data pipeline field link. This is the formula that we need to key and follow by the parameters. The set data pipeline field link function is used to link the master and detail data pipeline. A master data pipeline refers to the main data pipeline, while a detail data pipeline refers to the newly create data pipeline. A master fields are the key fields in the master data pipeline, and a detail fields are the corresponding fields in the detail data pipeline. In order to link to main data pipeline, start by typing set data pipeline field link, then open the bracket. First, input main, which represents the master data pipeline, followed by a comma. Next, input plsql underscore 5, which is the detail data pipeline we set up earlier. After that, input the linking fields by typing docky, enclosed in straight quotes, followed by a comma and then input docky. The reason we use docky here is that it serves as the key linking the two pipelines together. 
it is crucial to ensure that the docky fields in both pipelines match. Once the formula is complete, right-click and select Compile to check for errors. Sometimes, errors may occur if Compile or Save was not clicked during the earlier steps. Don't worry, you can resolve this by clicking Save as to save it as a new report. After reopening the report, right-click and select Compile again, as you can see the errors should no longer appear. Lastly, we need to update the main to new pipeline which is changed to plsql underscore 5 in the main and change all the fields to plsql underscore 5 for the document detail as well. As a result, the items are now sorted by delivery date, and those with the same date are further sorted by item code in alphabetical order, instead of the original invoice entry sequence. And that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube for the latest video, follow our Facebook for the latest update, go to our website for reports and guides. It's so easy.